Welcome to another edition of Cabinet Vision's Tech Tuesday webinar, brought to you by Planet Solutions Technical Support and Training Departments. Welcome to the What's New in Solid Version 5 Assembly Wizard. Today we're going to go over the new grain direction, the new breakouts in the Assembly Wizard, and the new part that we call the sub -in. When you go into the assembly wizard, which is now located in the main ribbon bar at the top, if you run the wizard for the partition, you'll notice that you now have a horizontal grain option. This is a very much requested feature that we have added into the program, so we certainly hope you enjoy it. Notice also when you run the wizard for the finished end, you have the grain direction here. Again, this is a very well requested feature that we have implemented for you. If you go and right click on any part here in the assembly wizard, there are a couple of new categories for the tall 45 and the tall 90. Just another option that we've added for you. And one of the main features that we added is this new sub end part. Just like other case parts, like your partitions, finished ends, unfinished ends, the sub-end asks questions of how your sub-end connects to other parts like your tops, your bottoms, your back, your frame, and so on. Of course, to cover all of the different cabinets that you have, it is a good idea to run the wizard for the different groups, such as the wall, the wall 45, the wall 90, and so on. I'm going to start up a new face frame job here and we're going to for this purpose use an applied door and an unfinished end. Let's go ahead and get this cabinet on the wall. I'll right click the cabinet, go to the finished end. I just want to have a left finished end. When I come in here to edit the cabinet, notice that my left end has an applied door. Let's go ahead and do a fill on this and the texture. Now when I come into the plan view or the overhead view of the cabinet, I'm going to zoom in here on the front. Notice on the right I've got my unfinished end, as you would expect. This is the standard unfinished end that has always been in the program. Now when I click next to the applied door, notice that I have a sub end. This is the new part that was added to 5.0. The sub end is only on a cabinet that has an applied door or an applied finished end. It's the only time that you will see a sub end. And this concludes the What's New of the Assembly Wizard in Solid Version 5. For additional resources, please check into the help files. These new features are covered within the help files. We also have an outstanding eSupport website. On the website, we have a forum which is monitored by the Planet Technical Support Team. On the forum, you will find a large amount of information covering these new features. The next option is Training. Planet offers several different options here. Options such as regional classes, on-site training, in-house training, and online training can be a valuable investment for your business. Please contact your customer service representative for more information on these training options. Thank you for watching. For more information on how Cabinet Vision can help you become more efficient and profitable, visit www.cabinetvision.com.